Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today we are going to talk about immunology and here is a question. Bloodborne pathogens would first be detected by lymphocytes in which secondary lymphoid organ? And you have to choose one of these answers. In order to answer this question, we should understand what is a primary and secondary lymphoid organ. So primary lymphatic organs are where lymphocytes are formed and mature. They provide the environment for the stem cells to divide and mature into B and T cells. There are two primary lymphatic organs, the red bone marrow and thymus gland. Both T cells and B cells are born in the bone marrow. However, whereas B cells also mature in the bone marrow, T cells have to migrate to the thymus to mature. And what is the secondary lymphatic organs? Secondary lymphoid tissues are arranged as series of filters monitoring the contents of the extracellular fluids. For example, lymph, tissue fluid and blood. The lymphoid tissue filtering each of these fluids is arranged in different ways. Secondary lymphoid tissues are also where lymphocytes are activated. This include lymph nodes, tonsils, spleen, Pears patches and mucosa associated lymphoid tissue or malt. Now let's return to our problem and take a look. Blood borne pathogens are in the blood, so would be filtered by the blood filtering organ. And blood is filtered by spleen. This is another example of encapsulated lymphoid tissue. This is the body's largest lymphatic organ. It is important for antibody production, facilitating immune response to blood-borne antigens, and it also eliminates worn out blood cells and platelets. The spleen is large encapsulated organ in the left upper part of the abdomen. The outer capsule is fiber elastic. So now we can choose the correct answer, which is answer C. This is spleen. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.